Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. This is today's project. This is what I am calling a cocoa mug shaped thank you card. Um, I used this shape. It is a digital cut file that was featured, oh let's see, it was in the October through December catalog. That's where they had all of the cute little examples. And it was in the Christmas story. So this here, these are digital art collections that we have that go with, I think, most of our different paper packs. And um, this is the little mug right here. I think it's so adorable and the beauty of the digital art collection is that you can use it with whatever electronic die cutting machine you happen to have. I use a Cricut but you can use it with a brother scan and cut, uh, silhouette, those types of things. So here it is. This is the cup and I'll show you how I make this. I've got a whole bunch of pieces already cut here in my little bowl and I will grab out all of the pieces that I need to put one of these together and I just like to cut everything out and have it standing at the ready so that I can do some assembly line putting together I think those are all of the pieces. I also did a little work ahead of time here. You can see there's some shimmer on this. I put it in a big box and I sprayed it with this shimmer spray. It's called Fiery Sunset. And this is a dilution spray. Really, really pretty stuff. And then I also used some of the, the Dino Wakely Media Gloss Spray. That's called Gilt. So that's a little bit of a gold and a little bit of a red shimmer. The other thing that I did was I took the mocha ink and my little blender tool and I blended a little bit of mocha on there because when I lay this on here it will look like coffee or cocoa. I'm going to start assembling. I think I'm going to use glue for this. This, this red part I'm going to put over the top of this other panel. And just line it up right over the top. This will have to go into a 5x7 envelope. I made it a little bit on the big side. I was aiming for a you know, four and a quarter by five and a half inch sized card, but I got a little carried away. So I'll bump up to a 5x7 envelope. And put down our little holly leaves. little holly berries and just I'm quickly using glue you can use whatever you like to use for these things okay I'm gonna set that over to the side because I have a little work to do here I need my scoreboard I'm just going to kind of teeter it on the top of things here. Hopefully you will be able to see what I am doing. So this is my oldie moldy Stampin' Up! scoreboard. So I'm putting this flat side up against the edge and I'm going to butt it up down to the bottom or to the top. And I am picking, I think, I think, let's see, one, eight, two, three, four, five eighths. Three and five eighths is where the line is ending up here. Um, and I'm just going to do a few passes, nothing too hot and heavy because it will tear through the paper if you go too heavy handed. So now you see I have my score line and I'm gently moving that paper with my fingers 
And then I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to give it a good press. I am also going to fold it in the other direction and again press it and then go back again. I just want to get this, this hinge moving. This is what's going to allow our card to open. The other thing I want to do is I want to stamp with my mocha ink a thank you. And I have this from my stash, Thinking of You Sentiments. This is one of our little two by twos. And a little thank you is always a good thing to have in your stash. And I'm going down, up, there we go. Now I just want to put glue on the handle and on the left side of the hinge. So just this part here. If you put glue on the other side, you will glue your card shut. And we don't want that. So you can see where I've got the glue. I'm going to lay it down. And I'm just going to start eyeballing and get this all lined up here. And I'm going to press on that a little bit. And then we'll see how this works. I'm going to open it up and I am going to take my bone folder again and give that a good press. And that makes your, your hinge so your card opens. I thought that looked nice, but a little bit of some my a brand new jelly roll pen that I just got about a month ago. And I'm going to do a little bit of some doodling on here. Just to give it a little something, something. And a little bit on the handle. And just going to throw some little lines here, even on the hollies. Sort of sketchy, nothing perfect. And, ooh, on the bottom, I think on the bottom would look good. And that sort of just helps to accentuate that, the illusion of the curve on the mug. Clear shimmer brush, my favorite. And I'm just putting a little bit of shimmer on these berries because they felt left out. They didn't have anything on them. That's it. These are my thank you cards to send out to family and friends that were so beautifully wonderful to me over this last Christmas. Um, and I just thought something fun and unique would be neat for them to receive in the mail. And that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed crafty day and I'll see you next time.